Let's use a tape diagram to solve the following problem. 140 is 70% of what number? Now remember, when we're using a tape diagram, we want to start by drawing our rectangle. Next, we want to think about our 70%. Um, and sometimes we think about how many copies of 70% are in 100%. However, that's not really easy in this case because there's going to be one copy and then a piece of a copy. So instead of doing it that way, let's try and break this up by tens. I know that I can do 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, all the way to 100%. So I know that I need to break my rectangle into 10 equally sized pieces. Next, I want to label my percents on top. Remember, we always need to include 0% because we know that that is nothing in our whole and 100% because that's our entire whole. Next, let's plug in what we know. So we know that 140 is 70%, so I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. If I know that this much of the bar is represents 140, then I could see how many of these sections go into this 140. So in other words, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what I'm going to try and figure out is, if these are all seven equally sized sections, then what does just one section represent? So I can divide this, 140 divided by 7, and I see that um, I can use partial quotients, I can use traditional. It's pretty easy to see that each of these is going to represent 20. So I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to count by 20s. Now just a little check here. These should all, if you're skip counting and you've done this part correctly, you should be landing on 140 and you could see that I am. Let me keep going. Since I know that my question is asking 140 is 70% of what number, I know that I'm looking for the whole in this case. So my answer would be 200. 140 is 70% of 200. I hope you found this video helpful and you can use a tape diagram to solve this problem for future.